USA Network's hit legal show, Suits, is just one of many that found an audience. Die-hard fans of it were crushed when showrunner Aaron Korsh announced that it would be cancelled after season 9. However, thanks to the age of streaming giants and Netflix offering the show on its service, Suits is once again dominating ratings four years after it ended, where it became bigger than it likely ever had before. This had led many people to wonder why it ended in the first place. Suits was a show that moved at an electric pace and pretty much hooked viewers from its pilot. Aside from the fact that the show's main characters were naturally alluring, its concept and novelty also provided the perfect template for success. It centered on a glamorous corporate law firm located in New York. Its main appeal came from co-lead character Harvey Specter, a high-powered corporate attorney and one of the best closers in the field. While fleeing authorities, its other lead character, Mike Ross, meets Harvey and manages to convince him to give him a job as an associate at the firm. After a super successful first seven seasons, most of the core characters have become popular around the world. The likes of Donna Paulson and, of course, Rachel Zane added intriguing and sweet romantic twists to the show for Harvey and Mike, respectively. All the while, the pair maintained their own identities by also being brilliant at their jobs with the firm and stood out as independent women. While Rachel and Mike ended up together on the show, in reality, Meghan Markle was on her way to becoming a real-life princess. As the lead actor's contracts with the show were all ending, Markle could not renew hers due to becoming a public figurehead. However, Patrick J. Adams left too, probably since it made little sense for his character to continue without Rachel being there anymore. Other legacy characters were also gone by then, and that gutted the show's main cast since many of its most popular characters would not be returning. By the iconic finale of Season 9, all the main plot lines were neatly wrapped up. In a surprise twist, although years in the making, Harvey unexpectedly proposes to Donna at Louise's wedding, and they get married right then and there. With the firm back in the hands of characters who deserve to run it, Harvey proves just how much Mike's friendship had rubbed off on him over the years. He and Donna also decide to move to Seattle and help Mike and Rachel in their quest to provide legal services to people in need. So, after years of being a corporate attorney of the highest caliber, Harvey learns that doing the right thing is far more nuanced than following rules. With all these events packed into the finale, Although a little more rust than initially planned, the show did get a proper send-off.